Hey guys, Nox here. This is episode 32 of Let's Talk with Some Random Guys and also best and most awesome YouTuber in the world in high definition. Today is the 29th of March and our special guest is Vintage Beef. Greetings, Internet. How are you? I'm alright, how are you doing? I know you're a little sick. Yeah, but still doing good. Um, good. It's getting better. Excellent. So let's start with the interview. How did you get into Minecraft? Um, I think... I got into Minecraft like a lot of people got into Minecraft. I watched some videos and um, the usual suspects. I watched uh, X and C Niners at first. Um, eventually, I uh, I started watching Good and this guy named I'm Anderzel. He's a Swedish um, Minecraft. Oh, I, I know him. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. Um, I started watching both of those guys, and then I, I, I thought their Let's Plays were a little more interesting than, uh, than C-Niners and X. No offense to them, but, uh, but I started watching them more and more often, and then I just finally decided to play the game, and I, I picked it up one day, and I haven't stopped playing ever since. And tell me your first reactions on Minecraft. It was uh, my first reactions. I didn't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> it's, just a, it's just such an open-ended game. There's no real goals at all, so... My first reactions, I just, I mean, I'm in the world and I'm looking around and it's like, okay, um, what do I do now? <laughs> so eventually I, uh, I actually started watching, um, so, like the very, I, I started Googling, or not Googling, YouTubing um, the very <laughs> first videos, like day one videos, I mean, oh, yeah. to, see, to see what you're supposed to do on day one. So that's, <laughs> I basically just copied them. I dug a hole in the ground and waited for night to pass. And then in the daytime, I just went out and explored. Um, and how did you start with YouTube? Um, I started with YouTube, I think, again, because of Good and Anders, because they, they seemed like they were having so much fun. Um, I played a lot of Minecraft before I started with YouTube, and the problem was I, I would build something amazing, and then I would stand back and look at it and think, okay, that <laughs> looks awesome, but nobody else can see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, it, yeah. It, it felt like no point to, to building anything. So I started. Uh, I, I decided to start up a, a YouTube channel just just so that I can get some interaction with people. And uh, and from there, I met all kinds of people, and and it grew into what it is today. And have you been surprised about all positive feedback on your videos? Yeah, I've been. I've been quite surprised. I didn't think my goal was just to get a few hundred, maybe a thousand people watching my videos, just so I can have like a back and forth. Um, of what I'm building and what they like to see built and just so I can get some ideas and inspiration but been very surprised at the amount of uh, of people that enjoy my videos I'm still wondering why they do that <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they know I, I hope so and a lot of guys asked what's the story behind your username um funny thing my very first YouTube account I've actually this is my, my third YouTube account oh <laughs> my very first one uh, not a lot of people know this, but my very first YouTube account was uh, called The Big Man Dan. <laughs> and uh, I used that one. That's the one I used to subscribe to uh, Good and Anderzel. I only had two subscriptions, and it was just those two guys. <laughs> all I wanted to watch was those guys playing Minecraft. Good. And then when I decided to start a Let's Play, I thought, I thought that that name wasn't really very catchy. So I started another one called Space Invader. Um, and I actually put up three or four videos on that channel. But I'm a little bit of a... I don't know. I'm a little bit obsessive about this stuff, and because the name Space Invader had already been taken, oh yeah, I had to put like X's on the ends of my of my name, and it just bothered me looking at it. So I decided to start another channel just because I didn't like the name, <laughs> and and so I started with Vintage Beef. And the reason I got Vintage Beef is I used to be a I used to be a a meat cutter uh, when I was uh, in my teens, like a butcher, I guess you'd yeah. call it. Some people call it meat cutter. Some people call it butcher. I don't like butcher. It sounds really um sounds really mean <laughs> but uh yeah i used to be a meat cutter so that's where the beef came from and the vintage part is just because it was it was a long time ago so it was like a in the good old days <laughs> okay um at the moment everybody talks about ultra hardcore so do you consider participating in season four absolutely um season four is just around the corner actually uh we're gonna start recording it very soon i'm not gonna give away any days or anything like that because that might spoil season three but uh, uh yeah i'm gonna be participating and it's gonna be a blast <laughs> that sounds cool um and who was your toughest opponent in this season uh my toughest opponent this season was the furnace <laughs> um i could have killed kurt guys i could have killed kurt but that furnace was against the wall where I wanted to place that. I don't know if you watched. It oh not, yeah, but... today I watched Kurt Gen X. Oh, man, 
that furnace saved his life. And that I, yeah, the, I was the wondering. Furnace, <laughs> the furnace was my toughest opponent. Oh, so as you placed the lava where you tried to place exactly, it. I oh. opened the furnace instead. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> But his dog died, so it was bad, uh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, well, his dog died after he met up with me. So uh, when he when he was uh, when we when he, when we had our little confrontation, his dog was still alive, and I was very very worried. <laughs> Do you like all the additions of Minecraft 1.8 and 1.9, such as food, new combat, and stuff? I love it. I mean, the more, the, the merrier. The more stuff they add, it doesn't even matter if I like it. It just, because Minecraft is such an open-ended game, they could add a million things, and I can hate, you know, 999,999 of them. But I don't have to use any of those things most of the time. The food and stuff, obviously, you have to use. But you don't have to enchant if you don't want. You don't have to use the new combat if you don't want. But, uh, yeah, the more stuff they add, the better. It doesn't matter whether I think it's good or not. Just the more the more uh, variety there is, the, the better it is for the game in the long run. Talking about open endings, do you like the end of Minecraft? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is terrible. Really. It, it's... Oh man, that dragon is just so easy to beat, and the end is such a bleak and just empty place. <laughs> uh, I don't even like the colors. Like the the sky is all black. You can barely see the dragon. I don't know. I hate it, and I wish they would just just remove it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could add one thing to Minecraft, what would it be, and why? A lot of people, I think, a lot of people uh, answer this the same way. I want some sort of flying. Um, machine or something i always thought it'd be cool to have like a, a hot air balloon um powered by I, maybe a furnace or something i don't know just a hot air balloon would be cool because you can just i mean it's not like i'm asking for a jet fighter or a, <laughs> you know nothing crazy like that just a, a hot air balloon where you can go up into the sky and look around without having to use dirt to pillar your way up there <laughs> i think the last three interviews in a row uh answered with a flying machine Yeah, especially with the new height limit now, there, yeah. there needs to be something that that can like either make us fall down safely. Like I think Baj mentioned a hand glider or a parachute. I think yeah, he mentioned parachute. A parachute. Yeah, uh, either something like that or something where you can just fly up and take a look. I think we first need something in the air to fly up. Yeah, that'd be nice too. <laughs> okay, um, and you already mentioned the end, but if you uh, would have to remove one thing from Minecraft, what would be and why? Uh, besides the end, redstone. <laughs> Because oh. I hate it and I can't understand it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Redstone, redstone's cool. Uh, if I had to remove one thing, um, yeah, besides the end, maybe... I think maybe those... Uh, I don't like those magma cubes. They're, they're, they're useless, really. I mean, they drop yeah. the magma cream, but they're just a nuisance. They just... I don't know. I don't, I don't, like, I don't see their purpose in the game. Maybe add something else that is a little more dangerous. <laughs> you can easily run away from those things. You can easily kill them. Uh, it's just, those things are just pointless to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you imagine something like a sequel to Minecraft? Um, a sequel? There probably will be a sequel because, um, let's face it, if it comes down to business, this is this game is made uh, Mo, Mo, Mojang or Mojang, however you want to say it. It's made them a lot of money, so they probably will make a sequel. I don't see it being anything that um, I don't know how they would change it other than making things maybe a little less cubed. Um, but yeah, there probably will be. Okay, um, under Vintage Beef's last Minecraft video, um, he asked for your questions, and now it's time to answer them. So, Mr. Creeper Tutorials asks, uh, who is the best person you have met online, and why do you like them so much? Um, I can't answer a single person, but I'll answer the three best people, Paws, Good, and Bash. I love those guys, and they're very attractive men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, X Cantos asks, is there a chance for us to join the Minecraft uh, Ultra Hardcore series? Um, not in the immediate future, but I wouldn't rule anything out in the future. Like in Season 4, we've already got uh, things planned. Season 5, we, me, Good, and Paws, and Baj, uh, <laughs> we've already started talking about what we'd like to see happen for Season 5. I wouldn't rule it out right now. There really isn't, but uh, never say never. <laughs> um, that Modern Warfare free Jewish guy asks, how old are you? The Jewish guy wants to know how old I am. Um, I'm 30, actually. 30, 30 years old. 
um, Moon Dirt Version 00 asks, is your real name Jill? <laughs> no, my real, my real name's Dan. Um, yeah, I don't know. Joe, my dad's name is Joe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they both met. Yeah, maybe. Okay, a tramped 100 asks, when did you notice that you were that you were a good builder? Um, when did I notice I was a good builder? I I like I think right from the beginning of the game, when I first started playing, that my goal was to build. So I don't know if there was a moment where I noticed I was a good builder. Uh, I just know that that's what I like to do in the game. Um, so the very first house I built for my YouTube series, I actually really liked that. It was a little yellow sandstone house with a black roof, and it was amazing. I loved it. And I stood back and I thought, man, I'm a good builder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ruler898 asks, Pepsi or Coke? Oh, that's tough. I go back and forth between the two. Right now, it's Coke. But <laughs> in like a month from now, it might be Pepsi. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Bouncy Rubber 100 asks, is beef your favorite type of meat? It isn't, actually. My favorite type of meat is chicken. Um, oh. But beef is a close second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fogo asks, have you ever been to Europe? I have. Um, well, only one place in Europe. My parents were born and raised in Portugal. Uh, I was born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, oh, Canada. But yeah, we've been back to visit family a few times. So um, I've been to Europe uh, probably six or seven times, but always just Portugal. I've, I'd like to go to other places in Europe, but I uh, haven't had the chance just yet. Cool. Okay, and now a few questions by Mr. Paxi. Um, coffee or tea? Coffee. Your favorite block? Gold, because it's shiny. Best friend on Minecraft? Bash, good, and paws. <laughs> Funniest player on Minecraft? Bash, good, and paws. <laughs> Your favorite song? I like all types of music. Any, anything that sounds good to me is, uh, is my favorite song. <laughs> do you have a favorite song at the moment? At the moment, what do I listen to the most? Hmm. I don't think I do have a favorite song. I'm listening to all kinds of stuff all the time, so it really is not one song that uh, that I listen to constantly. Actually, there is a song I, I listen to. I like listening to music while I drive. Like uh, Mostly, I don't listen to trance a lot, but when I drive, I listen to trance, and my favorite, favorite song to listen to while driving is uh, Strobe by Dead Mouse. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> yes. Um, what's your favorite spot? Um, close. It's between hockey and basketball. Very close. And best thing you have built? My very first house, because it was the very first thing I built on camera, and I loved it so much, and I love the feedback. <coughs> and, yeah, that's it with your questions, uh, yeah, with your subscriber questions, and mm -hmm. continuing. Do you have any goals you want to achieve with your channel? I just want to continue to make videos that people enjoy. I don't have any specific goals. I just want I just want people to watch my, my videos and, and watch them because they enjoy them, and that's pretty much it. I just want to put out some entertaining stuff and tell me something about your future projects future project i do have a secret project that i've been working on for a very very long time would you like to mention it? i will say that um i'm in the process of looking for some builders oh to help me with it yeah because maybe. The, the new height limit maybe go on maybe i can uh give you some nice contacts yeah, yeah. If you could, that'd be great. I, I have something in mind that's going to take a lot of time and effort, but uh, right now I'm, I'm looking for it's the it's in the building stage right now. Okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay, if there will be another Minecon, um, it will be in Europe. Do you want another Minecon? And if yes, where should it be? I would love another Minecon, and it should be in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't able to go to Vegas because it's too expensive. I'm I'm in Canada, as I mentioned before, so it was a little too pricey for me to go to Vegas. But honestly, if there is another Minecon, I think it should be in Sweden um, because that's that's where the whole thing started. I thought the first one probably should have been in Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> but, the actual uh, first one was in Sweden. In a, oh, was it really? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was. Well, I guess I think, it, 50 it people. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and half of those were the Mojang people. <laughs> <laughs> I can no, not uh, that much Mojang people um, have been at Mojang at that time. But That's I can true. Link Actually, you. It, was, it was probably just like Notch and Jeb and stuff. I can link you a video after. Oh, really? Video. I would love to see it. <laughs> and maybe in the description for all the ones who haven't seen it yet. Oh, that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and because I skipped the question before, uh, do you think there will be an end of a Minecraft type? I think, um, like all things, there probably will be an end to the Minecraft hype, but 
I think this game has longer staying power than like all other games I've ever seen, just because of how open-ended it is. There's no way you can finish the game, so <laughs> the, the replay value is as high as it gets. Um, so That's I true. Think there will be there will be an end for sure, but it'll last a very very long time. I mean, there's still people playing like Counter Strike and uh, and you know uh, those old strategy games and stuff like that. And those games, I mean, the replay value isn't nearly as high as as this game. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's it for the interview. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to check Vintage Beast's channel out, and the link is as always in the description. And it would be awesome if you could help us on our way to. Uh, 1,000 subscribers. I already yes. mentioned it in the last interview. But, Subscribe to this man. Oh, and not it's not just me. Um, it's a few friends of mine as well. Ah, but, those guys suck. You're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're the you're the dude. <laughs> Thank you, but they only do our German stuff. So, uh, well, if you like to learn German, our channel is a good way to start. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and I promise you won't regret it. All That's right. it for today. I really enjoyed the interview. Thank you, Vintage. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, uh, not not vintage beef. I think beef is for a shot. <laughs> I get it both ways, both ways. <laughs> and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye.